I would like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15 p.m. No. no. Okay, not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that... This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm, alright. We'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? The fuck? How can you just say no? That's bullshit. Cheating. We can't tell people it's no. What? That's not fair. Uh. Let's press it. A wooden box. That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. No, oh, carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. Though if I were to hazard a guess, I would say he was destined to be there. I'm what trying do you mean by to that? grasp at that one, but I can't. I just can't figure it out. I'm trying so hard, man. Sorry. I'm sure it was good, cool, though. Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? We've got a box! Hey, we got that uh, stuff now. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. I want to ask what was inside the what's inside the box. Uh, what's in the box? Is it your wife's head? Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. That rhymed. Yeah. So when we took it back to the station and cracked it open... Was there a bunny inside? All that went inside was this... little bottle. Bottle? That's not a stuffed rabbit. What is it, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. What condiments are in there? What? C condoms? It's filled with... pepper. Pots. Oh. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in a that big a box? That why? Yes. But there was only <laughs> one little bottle in that huge box. I wonder if it has some sort of special meaning, Whoa. like Schrodinger's bottle. <laughs> Do you want to go back and ask about the other stuff? Um, well, we're on a new statement. Yeah, but if we go back and press on the wooden box that is door now, we could we could ask about- Press them all now! Uh, okay. We'll press- Wait, the... Wait what are we pressing? The wooden box pressing. one, right? The wooden box that is the door now one. We're going to repress- Because there were other things to ask about. I'm just saying, man, you gotta be efficient. You gotta be so efficient, you gotta skip ahead, because you already seen these parts, so. Skip. Pretty sure we got the answer right, though. But are you yeah, sure? I yeah, because they gave us pepper. But what if we get something else? If it ends with new evidence, we probably got it right. We get salt. Listen, we want the salt. Oh, alright. I gonna... think there's plenty in here already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the lock anyway. Tell me if it's different said or if the he box says shut was up. locked. How exactly was it locked? Well, it's a lock. It had a quite a sturdy lock on it. it. Took quite a bit to open that bad boy up. So when you found the box, it was locked, correct? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. I ask obvious questions. Some of the forensics team took it back to the precinct to crack it open. I see. Please continue. That was a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. Press the vertebrae snap thing. 
According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. <laughs> yeah. You haven't found his murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. Hmm, you would think so. Especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, 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 I bet he made her disappear with his magic. He's not a fucking wizard. Anyway, I think we have the good feel for the details of the event now. Guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. I mean, all we're gonna give him is this little bottle of pepper? Yeah? Now that we have wrapped this up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously. Well, that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Aww. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. Please fuck off. Miss Von Salty, your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the sun. She must be talking about Ben the Vitriloquist. I wonder if Trilla will show up on the stand as well. Duh. Yeah, oh my nice. god, he's beating that man! Yeah! Let's set your name and occupation for the record. Remember Trillo was Snake and Ben was June. Yeah. Oh, shit, alright. Uh, he's, he's a dick, so... How did I do uh, this guy? Uh, it was Mom's kind of a Boston. Boston. Yeah. Not that's you. not you. Yeah, that's not you, man. Fuck! <laughs> Play Satan! No. As you were. Would you rather be Ben, is what you're saying? Nah, just leave it as that one. No changes. Judge. I skipped ahead. Yeah, Judge. Judge! Oh shit. Excuse me? The witness called to the stand was one Benjamin Woodman, Ventura West. Alright, so what are we doing? This is. Now. This is. not you. <laughs> and the other guy is you. I'm keeping the same voice. That's okay. fine. Okay. You had a deep voice for him the other time, too. That robe must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with a song. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> me, 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 me. The world of the law, exciting and daring. Guilt or innocence. Decided by a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? That was a terrible limerick. Yeah, it's fucked up. Spoken word. It had a good rhyme. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. <laughs> Shut up, just look at your nose. You would think you'd have the sense to fix it. So ugly, I want to punch you in the face on the on the off chance swelling would help. You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star. Oh. Celebrities must really enjoy seeing everything that flashes into their minds. What's going on here? Lorda! Lorda! I demand to know who the witness is! Don't worry about me, sir. I'll, I'll let Trillo handle this. You possessed. You won't get anyone trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. 
Yay! Talk to us, little puppet. Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge and clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went over to the plaza. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. That was... okay. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene? You're sure of that? Without a doubt, he had on his silk hat, cloak, and that dumb white rose is on his chest. This part's gonna be a poor night, bet. Nah. Oh, okay. Skip that when I click twice. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> That's enough. I think I think we all get the picture. There's just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. It's a robe, but since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean that the clown committed the crime? Mm -hmm. He's got a point. That's a shame. It was a nice theory. But the clown can't be the killer. Damn right, Hong Kong. <laughs> what, what, why is that? Here's absolute proof. It, it, it's just that. Look. This was found at the scene of the crime. Belongs to its defendant. Ah. Uh. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no way for there would be no reason for his hat to be at the scene. Aside from the obvious planting, but uh, well done, Miss Von Salty. Your prosecution's skills are unrivaled. Well done. Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix, right? What do you have to say? Uh, okay, um... I guess she's the boss again today. Oh, uh, now we gotta do an examination of him. Shoot. Well, what should we press, guys? All oh, everything! That's a silly idea. Hold on, I wanna go look That's at... That's you play Phoenix right. Not hold on, hold it. I wanna hold it, I wanna look at the photos. Look at these photographs. Oh, One is actually a map. <laughs> That's a good one. This is a good one. I like that one. Fun. And there's a top hat for your head. Fuck. Eh. Fuck, I should have done that a lot of reason. Alright. We got to brush everything. Because that's how attorneys work a lot. Yeah. Once practice is over, I left town with a stooge. I mean, clown. The clown. You're talking about Mo. Of course, I'm talking about that old fart. He's so pathetic, I can't stand him. Just a little bit of exercise, and his makeup is running all over the place. But once practice was over, he was nine tenths of the way to keeling over for good. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first place loser, this guy's ahead of the pack. Hmm. Then what happened? Ah. Uh, well, press it. 
what did you do then? I went over to the plaza to do some thinking. It was awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a bit better of an idea? Objection! <laughs> they all yelled right as she that popped up for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. the Phoenix fight. I think you should leave the witness to- Oh, no, I- Well. You got it. I believe you. <laughs> I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. Well, I'm a good thunker. At least the teachers always said it was. That is so out of character. Yeah, I know. That's... God damn it. No. Probably. Might have been. I think it's probably a typo. <laughs> It may be. It's, see, it's a problem because, like, I was just like, this is not the case. But then someone's like, this is the worst case in trilogy. So now I'm, like, think, looking for things that are bad with it, and I'm finding them. I was looking for these before! It's, it's only the worst case because it's so boring. Aw, I don't like boring cases. Uh, Russ, click it for me. <laughs> give me give me a remote desktop. <laughs> what? No! Why are you clicking on a freaking press? Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup? Get the wax out of your ears, lawyers nowadays. You like talking to a brick wall. Matches three piece. Get up, jeez. Could you be any more dense altogether now? Yo. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. Yay. Oh, that was Thank the crowd. You. Oh, I see. Oh. I didn't know either. But you were you leading it, it's alright. Yeah. Mm. My. My, uh. Hey, Nick! I think you should put a little bit more effort into your voice acting. Uh, listen, bro. <laughs> listen. You wake up. I'll, actually, I will go wake up. I'll be right back. Wake up. I'm going to go wake up. I'll be right back. I'm going to go wake up. I'll be right I promise. Be right Stall, quick. All right. I think he went to go get coffee. What else do you think he may have went to go do? Probably oh, poop and then sit on the toilet for 40 minutes while he plays a phone game. God, you're still all distorted and crazy. <laughs> I sure was. <laughs> it's real weird talking casual with that. It was. Aw. <laughs> uh, how's Wazies was your guys' days? Mediocre at best. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You know, I when I just realized the no, go thumbnail video is a bunch of Norman Reedus's. <laughs> yep. That was a pretty shit video. He's such an asshole. Yeah, fuck Norman Reedus, even though it's not what you're talking about. <laughs> well, we're playing a game with him, and it's gonna be Norman Reedus the game with his brother, Daryl Reedus. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, he is Daryl Reedus. <laughs> oh, Merle Reedus. Merle, yeah. Say. <laughs> his oh. other brother, Daryl, though. <laughs> So Snake finished Breaking Bad, and he's very proud of himself. I have, I have yet to finish it or even attempt to. Oh, God, you gotta do it, man! No. I've no. not seen that or Walking Dead, but I heard a rumor they're supposed to be related. What? <laughs> oh. The meth is what started the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Apparently so. There's a thing on it. Walter well, I mean, White. Rick is in both, but that, that's about it. Jesse goes on to make the best bath salts known to man, and it just infects <laughs> everybody. Uh, he really is pooping, isn't he? Maybe. Let me check oh. my webcam feed that I have into his bathroom. <laughs> oh, CCTV. you got that too. When they yep. try to sell old horses and try and make them seem more awake, they get a piece of ginger and pop it up its bum. I oh, Jesus Christ. That's called, what, figging or something? Yep. Yeah. I'm yeah. never gonna yeah, eat a ginger. Ginger's really again. good. I don't like ginger. What's up? I like, I like wasabi. I like ginger though. ale. That's it. I like ginger ale. Ginger that's barely. Right. Did, did you go, even have any nasty. ginger in it? 
But I like sure that's what's what's like it. I think so. I think it used to, but now it's it not, doesn't. It's not a lie. Did you get coffee? I got Mio. Close enough. Dude, listen. Gingerbread cookies, pretty good. Hmm. Agreed. Yeah, man. I used to not like them, but when I actually tried them when I was older, I was like, whoa. All yeah. right. That's felt the same good. way about uh, goldfish crackers. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. actually agree with that. I didn't like them when I was a kid either. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're not bad now. Same with Cheez Its, yeah. actually. I've always loved Cheez Its, though. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't like the fucking not. butter cookies. Butter cookies. The the ones with like the Danish very... ones. Mm, are they like really bland looking? Yeah. But I... the day I learned about club crackers was a good day. Uh, I love them yeah. now. Good shit, son. Listen. Look at that. We actually stalled for you. You don't have to say, listen, uh, we're listening! <laughs> listen. <laughs> I just want to say thank <laughs> you for stalling, bros. Yeah, you're welcome. Jeez. Ugh. All right. So. <clears throat> I guess we're just going to push on or press on here, right? Wait, would, you like sure. to, would you like to press on these pipe? Ladies and beans, I okay. You saw Max and only Max, right, Trilo? That's right, and that makes him the killer. There was only one person that had it that way that night. That makes quite a bit of sense and makes Max one suspicious character. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Da, 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 da. Is there something I'm missing this? Mm. I, I'm gonna let you all pick this one. It's either, it's either either no problems or not no problems. It's <sighs> a good good deduction skills there, Mr. Money. But I'm guessing Ben only saw Max. That's true, man. Do we do we have evidence that he didn't or something? Didn't he get bonked on? Oh, yeah, he got bonked by the head by Max. That's right. Here's the thing. Why was oh, Mr. Ben not also a potential Batman? Yeah, the, the... You know? We don't exactly... So we have someone who is in the suit, right? Uh-huh. Did he see his face? Uh, he just said the suit. That's not exactly oh, proof. Oh, yeah. there is no proof of How this. long was he thinking for? Does anyone know? Uh, I just want to know that Trilo, if he was the, act, the Trilo was the murder weapon itself. <laughs> you know? Christ. That would be impressive. <laughs> yeah. That'd be depressing. Yeah, that's true. All right, so I'm gonna try. There is no proof it was Max. Yeah. Because I mean, we just have clothes. Anyone could plant those. We've already right. joked about. All they that. found was the hat. Yeah. So there was no proof it was Max. You already? Yeah, sure. It's dope. Wait, 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 wait a second. There is no proof that the witness saw Maximilian Galactica. Hey, hey, you still don't get it, do you? I saw what I saw. It was Max's three-piece joke of a costume. Alright, let's say it all together now. Silcat. 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 Bro, white roses. White roses. White roses. Well done, guys. Thank you. I think you should hurry up. Um, study up on your celebrities, Mr. Wright. Great. I'm getting shut down by a toy. And the judge. I don't even... What? That's just... Be... So what? you want to go back and I, ask I, about I, the I other thing? I have a question. What's your question? Um, he only saw Max, right? What? He only saw Max, right? I only saw said. someone dressed up like Max, at least. Yeah, yeah. and he was outside. Right. So the Why other did he question. see the other dude? 
What other dude? The guy he killed. That's... nah. Nah. Nah, that guy nah. wouldn't be able to fit in those clothes anyway. No offense to that guy. No, but no, no, I'm God just wondering why he didn't see the other guy as well. Because he was heading towards Russ yeah, Money's trailer directions. or whatever that was inside and Russ Money wasn't oh, on the scene yet. Fair enough. Um, I think we should press the last thing again and pick the other thing. Yeah, I gotta go yeah. back. He was the only one heading that way. Press it. And we can just skip and skip it all. You know, while we're skipping, I can read skip like 8,000 people it. who subscribed. We're already there. Ben only saw Max sorry. question mark. Done. Sorry, guys. Uh, ben only saw Max question mark. That's a bit strange. Don't you think? What's strange? In the neighborhood that you only saw Max. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? Like a carny. Wait, where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Do we do Russ Money? Profiles for Mr. Russ Money. No, that, 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 that's the victim. Duh. Uh, I, I wasn't eating. That's <laughs> correct. If Trilo was at the entrance to the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. Well, <laughs> Obviously, the ringmaster had arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness. But I've seen him. Anyone with sense could have figured that one out. What are you talking about? The Ringmaster and Max went together to the Ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? <laughs> what a likely story. If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the Ringmaster's room, why was he just as a witness stated at the scene of crime? <laughs> no, nice she. Trying to bang his own daughter. That's, that's dirty. Yeah. It right. seems that at this stage I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. And there is clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. A bit of adjustment, Tiana. Now let's move along with this testimony. Mm hmm. Trilla wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Like, well, trying to bang the ringmaster's daughter? Well, I'm... Um, oh, yeah. Which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Well, um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked on the, the noggin and the bang bang and the chiggy jig diggy? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Lumped up the boogie. I don't know anymore! Jeez. So that would... We didn't get anything of that either? We went back to the beginning. The fuck? That wasn't it either. The fuck? What do we do now? What do we do? Oh my oh, god. Oh, me, Maya. Maya, is... turn into Mia. I need those big titties of justice. I could turn into game FAQs, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get Alex on the case? <laughs> sure, he's got a fucking guide for this shit. Still have something depressed, don't we? We had the very last one, I think, which was the cops come in. Yeah, the police showed up and we took the magic it, boy away. We'll, we'll try it. How do you know his magic? Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Hmm. Suppose I would have been around. Hey, what time is it? Ah, shit. It was around, I'd say, but after 10.30 p.m., I think. Practice ended at 10 p.m., so you hung around the lodging house after that, that the entire time? <laughs> I guess, I guess, this, this sounds right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, you know, the... The truth is... Will you shut up, you big-nosed dope? Why are you telling him anything extra? 